Okay, guys, welcome to tonight's <clears throat> Stay True call. It is May 5th, um, Cinco de Mayo, which I've read something about that. It's um, every, it, it said the majority of Americans think that that is the uh, Mexican Independence Day. Um, however, it is not. So that's what I thought it was, but I don't know. That's, uh, so when you was, drink your margarita tonight. Yeah, I thought it was some kind of fun fact, but the next question that you guys are probably thinking, I can see it in Norma's eyes, is, okay, then what, do, what is it? What's Cinco de Mayo for? And I have no idea. No, you read it. You I did read it, it but so I don't remember. I don't remember what it's for, so, but it's not their independence They want a battle. Day. They want a battle. Okay, go on. They want a battle. Something over drugs They're and immigration. Is, no, I'm joking. <laughs> so anyway, um, but welcome to the call tonight, guys. Um, I wanted to kick it off. Uh, once a month, we get the opportunity to recognize our <coughs> success club qualifiers, and um, we are going to do that now. So uh, leading the way for Stay True last month, um, this, these are the success club qualifiers for April. And um, keep in mind, in order to get success club points, you can achieve that in one of two ways. You get two points if you sell a challenge pack, and you get one point if you sell Shakeology on Home Direct. Um, keep in mind the key words there, Home Direct. So if you sell Shakeology as a one-time order, bummer, you don't, get, uh, you don't get a success club point. But um, that's why we, all, you know, we do encourage people to get on on Home Direct. So leading the way for Stay True last month was Gretchen Namoff. She had 11 Success Club points, so awesome job, Gretchen. Um, Success Club 5 qualifiers were um, Beth. She had 9, so she was just so close to 10. Don't remind me. Didn't get there, though. Dan Barry, <laughs> he, he finished with 8. Um, so good job, Dan. So close. I know you have a goal every month to get to 10. You were that close. Uh, Courtney Miller, she ended up with eight. Uh, good job, Courtney, and that included time on a cruise and everything, right? So you, she, I know she had success club, what, six, I think, before she left for the cruise at the beginning of the month. So um, that was awesome. She had met her goal, her personal goal, before getting on that ship. Uh, Moppy Byler ended up with seven points. Awesome job, Moppy. Jessica Meg, um, sorry about that, Jessica. This morning I posted the first post. She wasn't on there. I completely overlooked it. At least happens once, and it's always one of Gretchen's coaches. So <laughs> it never fails. Um, Which means don't worry, so, Gretchen already chewed him out. No, for she, she didn't. I don't think she <laughs> caught it. Je Jessica was like, saw it and like text messaged me. This gotta, red alert. We got to stay up. on him. You yeah. know that by now. But. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So thank you, Jessica, for catching that. I am human. I do probably make more errors than the average human. So. Thanks for catching that. Um, and then I ended up with Success Club 5 uh, last month. So we had a bunch of people who were Success Club qualifiers. And what this means is that they had at least um, anywhere from one to four Success Club points. Um, so that included Mark Lodato, Sean Perrin, Lindsay Shepka, Tina Sparks, Christine Deicher, Norma Miller, Vito Walker, William Bronlich, Jonathan Mag. Katie Schaefer, Lisa McClay, Steve McClay. I wonder if there's any relationship there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lindsay Steeprock, Deb Lodato, Laura Bell, Todd Kreitz, Sol, uh, Roberts Lieb, Jen Novak, Ernie Cash, Laura Hughes, Crystal Girding, and Suzanne Piercy. So awesome. good job to everyone for last month's Success Club. Um, I'm going to just tell you this. I spoke with a lot of other top coaches or one of my uh, success club partners or success partners. Um, and she's told me she, her entire team struggled big time last month for success club. Um, you know, she, so we kind of were talking about that because we didn't have as many people as we normally do hit success club 10 hit success club five. Um, but that was kind of across the board, it seemed like, as far as Beachbody as a whole. So I want to encourage you guys, don't be discouraged by any of this. Um, use it to encourage yourselves and to um, motivate you to continue to shoot for <coughs> Success Club 5 at a minimum in May. Um, okay, I think uh, you ready? 
Yeah, I'm well, I, I turn I wanna, it over to Beth. Yeah, I have a couple phone. few announcements really quick. One, Gretchen is one star diamond coach today. So she made it through her qualification period, which when you get there, you'll realize it's a little stressful. Um, so we're so excited that she's there. Congratulations. And I put a, an event in Stay True for May 20th. We're going to have a little get together at our house. That it's not night. my birthday party. I didn't, I didn't tell them it was your birthday. I know. I'm telling them it is my birthday on May 20th, <laughs> but it's not my birthday party. <laughs> So don't bring a gift. Anyways, <laughs> now someone has to bring a sombrero or something for Glenn to wear because I made it up. She got, fiesta. she, Gretchen, she, she ordered a clown. We have a clown coming, <laughs> so. <laughs> no, so May 20th, it happens to be Glenn's birthday, but we're having a stay true party at our house that night. So yes, I hope you guys yes. can all come bring, you know, your. A gift. I mean, bring, no, bring an appetizer. Bring your. <laughs> significant other and come and join us and then we still are trying to get some people to join us for the grace race which is at our church um all it's the actually proceeds, at, well, copley at copley high, high school, school 5k and a family fun run so if you can't do a 5k or don't want to do a 5k or have to have your kids with you or what other excuse can i think of as why somebody yeah anything go, but it's may 30th family fun run the the church had asked us to host a team there's i don't know 20 teams 20 or something teams. so if you guys would join us we would appreciate it and all the proceeds go to feed my starving children so now um go ahead and if you can bring up that powerpoint and i'm going right. to share with you guys and bear with me here guys cuz the whole sharing it's not a webcast so it's not as easy here we go Okay, so let's see. Do you keep it? Yeah, I'm going like to do that. this. And then I'm going to go this. Okay, can somebody unmute yourself and tell us if you can see the screen? Because we can't see you anymore. Yes, we can. Okay, okay awesome. Thank you. Okay, so... This is, if you guys, those of you that have been to Summit, you will recognize a lot of these tips. And I, um, Shay Stanford, I mean, when I heard her speak at my very first Summit, I've been using things and sharing things with you guys from her ever since I started working my business. So some of these things you may have heard before, but I just think this is a great reminder. And I'm so glad that some of our newer coaches are on here too, just to hear this. It's, there's a lot of value in, in these slides. So for starters, um, if I can figure out how to use, okay. So the first thing we have to do is create um, some value about Shakeology. And just like handbags and cars and clothes, people perceive the value of name brands, like it's just something that's been, the media has, or you know, social media especially kind of drives into us. They have a perceived value of luxury when it comes to name brands and people go after those name brands and think that they're special. We need to do the same thing for Shakeology. Show that how this luxurious item fits into their lifestyle is going to make them feel better and is worth, you know, it. there is value to it. So to start, I'm just going to give you guys some tips. Thanks. You can do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that because you okay. look nervous when you're touching this. Well, because on my computer, I hit it over there. Okay, so the first tip is to differentiate. It is not a protein shake. And you've heard us say this probably a million times, but Shakeology is a meal replacement. So a lot of times when you start sharing it with someone, they come back with like what protein shake they get from Sam's Club or um, you know, well, I drink slim fast or whatever, but protein shakes are just protein. And we as a society are not deficient in protein. We're deficient in nutrients. So that right there is your first tip for selling Shakeology versus some of these other shakes on the market. So it's not a protein shake and it's not just for weight loss. Media drives the whole weight loss thing with shakes. There's so many different brands and it's usually always relating to 
making your nutrition easy so you can drop weight. If you pigeonhole weight loss for who you want to market to, you're missing a whole bunch of people because not everyone needs to lose weight, but most people need nutrients more like most of us are nutrient deficient. So hold on. Don't go too fast. No, there. just um, point at my hand. Another problem is if you just promote it for weight loss, once people lose the weight, so say you put them in a challenge group, they do the 21 day fix. They've been on Shakeology for that first month. They met their goal of five to 10 pounds. And then they're like, well, I don't need Shakeology anymore. So now you just lost them as a customer too. So that's another great reason to not market it just for weight loss. Second tip is sharing the diet cycle. And of, I mean, if you can take time when you're first sharing Shakeology or really any of Beachbody with people, if you can take the time to talk with them on the phone or talk, meet them in person and hear what they're like what they've done in the past that either has worked or not worked, what they're struggling with. And then, then you can summarize like, all right, so what you're telling me is such and such. Tell me if this sounds familiar. And you can share this cycle, this diet cycle with them. So in the yellow, you start your diet. So most of us, you're all gung ho with your meals, you're, you know, you're, you're food prepping and the first three or four days of your workouts, you're going well, you're on track. And then by day 10 to 14, you're starting to fall off. And a lot of times what's happening is the recommended daily allowance, your RDA, a lot of times is like when you look at um, labeling on food, it's for a 2000 calorie diet. And when we're restricting our calories. Some people are down to 1200 or 1500. Now I know some of our programs, we, you know, we don't put people down low like that, but typically that's what people do. By the time you get to day 10 to 14, things are starting to change and your body is not like you have cut the calories, which has also cut some of your nutrients. So your, your body is screaming for nutrients and you're hearing that as I'm craving junk, I'm so hungry, I feel like crap, like I, I'm just irritable because you're actually hungry for the nutrients in the food. So you can do, um, that, that then leads to the blue arrow, which is the temptation and frustration. So you're so, you know, you're hungry, you're worn out, you're sick of the diet, you haven't done your workouts and, um, your husband comes home with wings or something and you're like, forget it. I'm just going to have those with you. You know, mm -hmm. you're just gonna not to blame it on you, but, um, you know, your friend comes in or you're out to eat and you, you're like, just give me the French fries. You know, like I'm sick of this. It's not working. And then you get back, then you feel guilty, you know? So when you ask people like, does this sound familiar? Yes. We've all been here. We're, we're all like, okay, then I'll start again on Monday. And the problem, the reason that, happens is it starts with the whole like restricting the calories from the beginning so that's where Shakeology comes in because if you can start someone with Shakeology from the beginning they are it is a safe way to reduce the calories but increase your nutrients so a lot of times that's why we hear people say oh I'm not you know my cravings are okay and um, and they're starting to feel good they're starting to feel more energy and things like that so that's when you can tie right into okay remember how you felt in that first diet cycle you're not gonna feel that way this time let me talk to you about Shakeology so buzzwords for being nutrient deficient. When you hear people say like, oh, my cravings are terrible. I just have this mental fog. I'm super irritable. I'm sluggish. I'm tired. I'm worn out. Like, <clears throat> listen for that. Because when, you're, when you hear people saying that just in normal conversation, talking about how bad they feel, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people don't feel their best. So use that as a segue into how you can start talking with them about Shakeology. And a lot of times that starts with, I felt that way too. Let me tell you what has worked for me. I mean, when you can turn it around to, um, you know, sharing your testimony a little bit or talking about maybe one of us on the team who you've heard our story, 
it when you can make it more personable that is a huge um, help too so how do you, how can you cut calories but not reduce nutrients and I want to show you this interesting slide this is actually from David Ingram and it, he found this in the journal the JAMA which is the Journal of the American Medical Association, a very reputable journal. This study, they reported that it's been found that 100% sufficiency was possible for all 27 of our essential micronutrients only when the daily caloric intake requirement averaged over 27,000 calories. Completely extreme, completely impossible to maintain. Diet plans using whole foods alone would be on average deficient by 56%. And they found that even people who ate five to six servings of fruit and veggies per day may still not be able to get enough of certain vitamins for optimum health. Micronutrient deficiency has been shown to cause an 80%, just over an 80% increase in the likelihood of becoming overweight, becoming obese, which links us to a whole host of other dangerous diseases. I mean, obesity literally just catapults you into resistance to infection, birth defects, cancer, cardiovascular disease, osteoporosis. You guys know all this. I mean, we've heard this before, but this is sometimes you need to give people stats like this. Like, so can you lose weight without Shakeology? Yes, you can. But Shakeology makes it easier. It makes it healthier. So I know that's a, like that's a heavy slide, but I think it's important. For that's some to good see. info. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. it is good. That's info. awesome. Okay, so when you're sharing the benefits of Shakeology, and like I said, it's so important to even when you can post like a testimony on your page of maybe what someone said in one of your challenge groups or one one of your clean eating groups. If you're putting um, even if you're not putting Shakeology in there, but just getting people started cutting out processed things. When you can share a testimony like that and it's real to someone and then someone can relate to that, that is a wonderful segue into the benefits. Um, so we all know this, but Shakeology is easy and fast. It's right there on your counter. You mix it up, you're on the go. It gives you a whole food meal and your vitamins. So we need to make sure we're sharing that with people. Like, like I said in the beginning, it's not just a protein shake. It's, it's your vitamins and your superfoods all in one. It's like eating five plates of salad, which most of us do not do in a day. Um, Shakeology helps cover your basic nutritional needs. You can feel better, have energy, recover better, have less cravings plus your body repairs itself faster. And you guys, I know I'm talking really fast. This, we will record this and post it. So, and I can share these slides with you too. Yeah, I was gonna right? say, we can easily share the slides. Yeah. Okay, so don't feel like you have to um, write all this down. Um, another benefit of Shakeology is it can be flexible in calories depending on you know, if say you're a bodybuilder and you need to boost those calories, you need to add an avocado or something to really increase your calories. Maybe for a child, you're just going to make them a third or a half of a shake. An elderly person like this is, I was just talking with Suzanne about this earlier. This is so much better for someone than an insure shake. And if an elderly person needs to boost the calories, then give them the Shakeology, but add healthy things with it. So it's nice that it is low calorie and we know that we can change it up a little bit if we need to. Okay, so starting people out right. Remember that your coaches are gonna do what you do. We have never taught this, so hopefully none of you guys have heard this from other coaches, but some, some coaches will say, Tell your customers to buy the Shakeology. They're, they're just after the success club points. So just do the Shakeology. As soon as, you know, as soon as you order it, you can cancel it. You don't have to do it for more than a month. We don't, we don't want to teach our coach. We don't want to teach our customers that because if they ever become a coach, they're going to do that with their customers. So yes, we all love success club points, but the point of selling Shakeology and a program together is to get them started off right. And then we want to show this value in Shakeology so they can stay on it long term. 
if you believe and are confident in promoting Shakeology and you portray that to your customers, it's going to carry over when they become, when those long-term customers become long-term active coaches, then you're not going to have to worry about them signing up and a month later not being active because they don't, they're not, you know, they don't see the value in Shakeology. So there's huge value in it as for your health, but also for your business. I mean, we want people to realize how important this is. Okay, so tip, some tips for the packets and the price. Do not say sample. If someone asks you for a sample of Shakeology, you say, well, I have packets I can sell you for $5 each. How many would you like? And we typically recommend getting four to five. One, because a lot of times their first couple ones, they might mess it up and tell you like, oh, that was terrible. It was so thick. Or, you know, they just don't know how to mix it. So if they have it for a couple of days, they can play around with that. And second, we're setting the stage. Like this is not a quick fix. So you might have a shake. One shake, I usually tell people, one shake is going to give you an idea of the taste, but not tell you how you're really going to feel on it. So a lot of times after those four to five days, then those digestive enzymes are working and they're starting to clean out their gut and their body's able to actually absorb the nutrients in Shakeology. And then all of a sudden they hit the shift where they they feel more energy and their digestion is better and they're sleeping better at night. So a lot of times we want to promote like at least that's what's nice about the super sampler that they can purchase is if you don't have packets to sell them, they can go online and order, you know, seven days and try every flavor and be on it. And I always tell people, if you're going to buy it, start them and do one a day for that whole week to really see how you feel. Um, show them how to make it. And I think this is, I actually do not have a video, but I think this is a great tip. I always tell people how I make it. Like, and if someone's ordering and I send them a thank you card, or if I, if they have won a packet in one of our, like when we did that Beachbody online party, I told them, you know, this is my favorite way to make it, or this is how I recommend. But a video would be awesome. And I know some of you are doing videos to start building your YouTube page. This would be a great video to put on there. Like, this is how I make Shakeology. Show them, one, how easy it is, but also, like, how to make it so it's not too thick or too thin. Um, and then the follow-up is key. Don't sell them some packets and never check back in because – Sometimes you check in and one, they don't, they didn't like the texture. So you can tell them, you know, add a half a banana or try it with the almond milk. But sometimes they tell you, oh, my stomach is upset. And then you ask them what they mixed it with and they've used milk and they're usually, they're not used to drinking milk. So, you know, you need to be following up to tell them, okay, well maybe one, it's too, um, if it's too much for you at first, then you can switch back to a half serving a day for the first week or try it with the almond milk instead of regular cow's milk. That may help your stomach. Um, so just you, you need to follow up. That's key. Okay, so the price. When we share the price, I highly recommend that you don't just say one. it's 130 Start easing them into it with it's $4 a shake. And I know this next one is kind of funny because I've totally been burned on saying this like well what what do you spend on an average healthy meal and I have this one customer Damn. Yeah. yeah and he said he wrote me back and said he was arguing about the price of Shakeology so I said well, what do you spend on a healthy meal and he said a dollar eighty and I'm like you've got to be kidding me <laughs> most people if you ask them that they will say seven dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars like but wait what was his healthy meal it was like some kind of bar and oh, i God. totally laid into him about the bar like i was all over it and he finally wrote back and said you're totally feisty but send me the link i'll try the challenge back um <laughs> <laughs> so i had to fight for it but i did get the order um but another way to to remind remind them that this is 
an easy 30 meals. We don't go to the grocery store and buy enough groceries for 30 days. So this could be your lunch or your breakfast for a whole 30 days. So really like, you know, talk up that value and remind them it replaces a meal. So you can deduct that meal from your grocery list. And then I always share that I totally believe in this. I love it so much. It's so healthy that I'm not just going to keep this for myself. Our whole family drinks it. The kids even do. And so we, you know, are getting three to four bags a month. And um, just, I think, sharing that so people see like, oh, okay, geez, like, they, geez, the Aikens, like, they really believe in this. Stuff. It's like water <laughs> around here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay, so um, one, one way to keep, keep it in perspective, and this is from Shay Stanford too, she said, and this is, you don't always have to use this, but if people are really fighting you on it and fighting you on the price, but they're still complaining about how bad they feel, ask them, like give, give perspective on it. So ask them, if your child was sick and you went to the doctor, would you do what the doctor told you to do? If he said your child needed medication to buy or some special tests to be run, would you spend that money to help your child feel better? Well, I'm telling you, I have something. You need to spend the money, but it's going to make you feel better. Why do you think you're not that important? You're caring for that child. You are, when you feel better, you're, you're going to be a better coworker, a better spouse, a better parent. So sometimes you have to, you know, just put it in perspective for people and help them realize, like, they're worth it. And you guys all know that's, like, my passion is helping people realize their self-worth and realize that they can take a little time to feel better. So, you know, if you have to, if you have to use an example like this, I say, yeah, Shakeology it. saved our marriage. Oh, no. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So some easy comparisons. If you have been in a clean eating group with me, you have seen this. I use it all the time. I tell this to people all the time. People are going to ask you, well, how does this compare to such and such? People always tell me they buy that big old thing of shakes from Sam's Club. It's only 40 bucks or whatever, and it has all these servings. And I'm like, I don't ever, I mean, a really cruddy one I would probably bash, but I typically don't bash our competitors. I just, get, I just put this spin on it. So I just tell them, all right, I want you to read the label of your shake. And first I usually tell them, make sure you can pronounce what's in it because when you read a shit bag of Shakeology, all those ingredients are superfoods. So you can, everything in there, you can pronounce and you know it's real. If your shake, and you can tell them, if your shake has any of these, then you need to avoid it. If it has soy, soy is a ch super cheap filler. It wreaks havoc on your digestion. It decreases your immune system. It leads to thyroid issues, cognitive issues, reproductive, reproduction issues. So, I mean, there are, there are some vegan shakes out there that have like a, a non-GMO soy, but for the most part, soy is just a filler that companies use in bars and in shakes. Artificial sweeteners. There are hundreds of studies, and you have definitely heard me talk about this before. Artificial sweeteners stimulate our appetite because they raise our insulin, which then makes you want more carbs because your insulin's up, but there's no calories in there. So then your carb cravings are up. It increases your fat storage. Long term, they're saying it's a carcinogen, so it leads to cancer. So we should be avoiding artificial sweeteners at all costs in all of our food, but it's a great way to get people off some of these shakes because so many of them use them to be lower calorie. And then artificial flavors. So these are in everything. We can, and we have to coach people through this, we can train, retrain our taste buds to not need these. Our food supply, you know, we all know it's not good and a lot of things are everyone wants that like flavor pop and flavor boost and that comes from a lot of artificial flavors so again there's a lots of studies there it's linked to ADD it makes asthma worse it causes headaches affects your thyroid and I just like to tell people this like it doesn't have to be a long drawn out explanation and I have a little thing I copy and paste I can share it with those of you that don't already have it. If you're in my clean eating group, you saw that post um, 
yesterday, I think we that just went through. So definitely share that. Now, the superfoods in Shakeology, it's overwhelming. You do not need to know every single superfood. If you're really, And you may not be able to pronounce some of them. Right. And so if, you I may mean, have some stuff in there you can't pronounce. I'm just saying. Well, but, uh, oh, you I mean on the label. Right, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> um, you don't have to know them all, but you should know. I mean, if, if you want to know them all, you know, spend time going into that. But don't do it. But you need to know at least the benefits. Like when someone says, when, you, when I say it's a superfood meal replacement, what if they're like, well, what's a superfood? Superfoods in Shakeology are going to strengthen your immune system. And we have noticed a huge difference in that. Just that we are sick. I mean, I just had a cold last week. And I, I told Glenn, I feel like I haven't had a cold in two years. I mean, being on Shakeology consistently has done wonders for our family and the adaptogens and phytonutrients that are in it are what help strengthen your immune system the next thing is they repair and restore your gi system most people do not have a regular gi system so when they start on shakeology that's one of the benefits they're more regular their digestion improves once that digestion improves they're able to absorb the nutrients from their food so it's like a total win and then it, the superfoods help reduce chronic inflammation. The number one cause of nearly every disease is inflammation. It destroys cells. It destroys your immune system. If you can, I mean, it just drives me crazy that more people don't realize. Like, if you can just drink this one thing, it's so easy, and it's going to help you. We have a lot of testimonies just in our team alone how it has helped with those of us with autoimmune conditions and so if you need a testimony to share with someone, reach out to us, post it and stay true. Like who can help me with this? Um, and we'll definitely share with you. Okay, so Shakeology is not magic. <laughs> we don't claim that it's like a magic pill, but it is clean, simple nutrition made super easy. $4 a day is going to cover not only that meal, but your vitamins and your superfoods. You're going to feel better. It's going to increase your energy. Your body is going to run more efficiently. And you don't have to be a nutrition expert. And we can tell our customers that. Like, listen, you don't have to understand all this because it's overwhelming. And honestly, some people, they don't want to know. They just want to know what to eat. They don't even care why. They just... And this is such an easy way to say, like, here's one thing you can add to your day, and it's going to jumpstart a whole host of healthy changes. So, like we always say, it is your business. You can literally run it however you like. But here are some suggestions. Just going, kind of reviewing now. You need to inform your customers now so you can, that will then inform your future coaches. Because... Many times your coaches on your team started out as customers. And if you can just get them started out right, it's going to just, it's going to work out to everyone's benefit in the future. We have an awesome solution to share. So if you can, if you believe in it, share it with everyone you know. Share it not because you're trying to shove your business down their throat. Share it because it's a solution to how to what they're feeling, you know, all those buzzwords that we talked about in the beginning. And just sticking with our mission to change the obesity epidemic, to end the trend of obesity, I mean, Shakeology is the main answer to that. And then just to summarize, um, it's all about creating the value. Broaden your market. Remember, do not narrow it down to just a weight loss. It's not just for weight loss. Give the clear, simple benefits, show the value for the price, and then promote the long-term use. So definitely promote um, using it past just 30 days. I mean, the 30-day jump starts it, but you want to teach them about what it's doing for their body. And I had to find one more A slide. pig snout. <laughs> it's a pig snout. Okay, you can stop sharing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, let me do this here. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, now put everyone back on there so I can see them. There we go. There, there everybody is. All right. 
Okay, so what questions do you guys have? If you have a question, you can either unmute yourself. Of course, we've got people who I don't see. Well, you can just unmute everyone. Okay, yeah, I'm going to unmute everybody. So if you don't want us to hear you, then... Mute yourself. Mute yourself. So hold on one second. Management people here. All right. Okay, guys. So um, if you have any questions, just throw a hand up and we will call on you like we're in class. Yes. Courtney. Courtney. Okay, so it's not really a question, well, kind of, but um, I get a lot of breastfeeding moms who are very concerned about going on Shakeology because they just don't know what it's going to do. And I've had several who say they get on it and the first week their supply goes down quite a bit and it freaks them out. So I talk, I took it to my doctor when the kids had their checkup just to ask him like, what would that be? And he looked at it and he was like, it's quality over quantity. And he, he just flat out said, you know, you're giving your baby so much good stuff. There doesn't have to be a ton of milk with it. The quality of the milk is just so much better. They don't need as much. So I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. But I thought I would share that because that really changed a lot because the women were freaking out and they would stop. So we at least... I got them to continue, but now they're eating like a little bit more oatmeal to just calm themselves. But the babies have had no like problem. Okay. So that was interesting. Yeah. that wow. I've, that I've is... never heard anyone say it like that. I mean, we have run it by physicians and um, what drives me crazy is when people are like, well, I don't know if I should be on Shakeology, but they're eating like McDonald's. Exactly. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. what, what is wrong with you? <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Jess. Um, Courtney, the other thing is you can tell them to grind up some flax seed or add some brewer's yeast to their shake algae, and then their supply won't go down. Well, there you That's go. Good. Fun right. fact number two on the yeah. call. <laughs> I had an interesting situation, though, with shake algae today. Okay. Um, a friend of mine, she called me from Walmart. Apparently, they have a new Just Like Shakeology product. No. Um, yeah, it's like a, it, and they're, that's how they're marketing it. Yeah. Like Jeff Armbruster. yeah, Jeff Armbruster took a picture of that in Walmart one day and posted it. Oh, was that the one? That was it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think Eason Beach Body after them, though. Yeah, yeah they're being sued. Yeah. And isn't that where you could buy the 21 day fix containers too, Gretchen? Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, but the one container, I think is the protein container is huge. I mean, the, the things are off. Oh yeah. My yeah. The yeah, containers totally are off. <laughs> and she had, so I had her flip over the bag while she was in there and I'm like, I want to see what's in it. Yeah. And, Compare ingredients to Shakeology. Okay, some in of the ingredients are similar, and then it's just jammed with fillers and sugar and sugar and sorbitol and sugar byproducts, and it, it's nasty. Oh my! And, that, and how much was it? I think it was forty dollars. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Hmm, that's He's yeah, vacuuming. Come to my house. Plane. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else um, have any questions, comments, thoughts? I was just going to say, like, if any coaches have any um, customers that are asking certain questions about how Shakeology is helping them, like, just don't be shy. Just ask in the group because um, – for instance, Shakeology helped me get rid of my diabetes. And I know that I have not only communicated that to my own customers, but I have helped other coaches as well use my testimony so that they can, um, you know, see some of the benefits and the, I can answer questions and stuff. So you don't feel like you're alone. Like all of us have testimonies and have experiences that we're more than willing to share. Um, with anybody so that everybody can benefit from it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And even 
even this presentation, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, I see all that and it takes me a little bit of time to absorb that much knowledge, you know what I'm saying? And then being able to speak to that or tell people about that. Um, so I have a feeling Beth may be doing a lot of three-way calls, so. Well, no, uh. I mean, just <laughs> like literally when I first heard, cause this is all things that I've gotten from Shay Stanford. She, I heard like almost this exact talk. I've watched webinars of hers that are this exact talk. I swear she did this same thing at Summit. I just recognized the slides from something I was watching earlier. And the only thing I took away from the first time I heard it was those three things. Like, well, what, how does it compare to whatever? Just uh, if it it's has so these three things, picture. avoid it. And I've been using that for two years. I mean, I've shared that with all of you guys. Like I literally just copy and paste it and write it to people. So, um, even if you just get like one or two takeaways from this. And I mean, the most important thing I think is when someone asks me about it, I say, I love how it first helped me curb my, curb my cravings and increase my energy. But now I have to say my favorite benefit is the boost in my immune system. And then I just send them a video on it. So it's not that we don't want you to like, don't feel like you have to know everything that was on. And that you slide. don't say all that to someone because they will run away and never come back. But um, <clears throat> depending on who you talk to, you know, you might use different parts of that. So, yeah, that wasn't to scare you. I mean, I think it's just important to be informed and right. Scared Glenn, but I think the rest she of you scares can me all it. the time. <laughs> <laughs> What else? Anyone else have any questions, thoughts, comments, concerns? No, we're going to get off that easy. Okay. Well, it is late. It's quarter till 10. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for getting on the call, you guys. And, um, oh, let me take everybody's picture. Open. Oh, oh. Yes. Hold, 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 hold that, hold that hold face, please. Gretchen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God, Gretchen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Usually people do it so Some... you don't see a phone, don't they? Do it like down. Oh, here. Glenn, here you do it. Watch. All right. Now everybody give a. <laughs> well, That's they they won't know if I'm taking the picture or not because see that they don't. You can't see them now. Yes, you can. Okay. Now you can't see me, but. <laughs> All right, we'll let you go. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> Have a good night, you guys.